Hello everybody, The Quiet Atheist here. This next story that I want to share with you guys is equally disgusting. But before we get into this video, I wanted to let you guys know that this article in its entirety will be provided in the description down below for everyone to take a look at, of course. Now, I think that it's pretty safe to say, like I have said many times before, that Christians want society to go back into the dark ages, if you will, where women weren't allowed to do anything. They weren't allowed to have any kind of a say in any matter in any way, shape, or form. They don't want women to have the rights that they do now. And it's something that is very disgusting to me. It is something that is very offensive. This story that I want to share with you guys is a prime example of that. It is a prime example of Christian behavior in this country, and it is causing a significant problem. With that said, I wanted to read a part of this article to you guys so that you can become more familiar with what is going on in this article. And at the end of this video, let me know what you guys think. Now, the title of this article is GOP Congresswoman Doesn't Support Anti-Abortion Bill, So a Conservative Writer Wonders If She's Worthy of Life. You may have heard that Republicans were aiming to vote for a 20-week abortion ban on the anniversary of the Roe v. Wade ruling. Some Republican Congresswomen took issue with the bill, particularly with the limited rape exception. The political repercussions they feared would be damaging to the party. Congressional leadership abandoned plans for the vote and focused instead on HR 7, which would prohibit insurance plans sold in the new health care exchanges from covering abortion, and it would eliminate tax benefits for small businesses that purchase insurance plans covering abortion. The bill would also prevent the District of Columbia from using its own locally raised funds to subsidize abortion care for low-income women. Now, do you see how ridiculous these Christians are getting? Basically, these businesses would be ruined if they decide to cover abortion for the women that work for them. It is ridiculous. It really is. They want to completely cut all of this out of the picture. And a few of these women are standing up against these Christians and basically opposing this bill. And one of them even went as far as saying that they wonder if these women that are opposing this bill are basically worthy of life. That is how ridiculous this Christian way of thinking is. They really don't have any passion for these women. And like I said at the beginning of the video, they just want women to remain under their boot. They want women to not have any kind of say. They want to create all of these bills that are so ridiculous that it would literally be impossible for women to get abortions. It's something that is stupid. It's something that is unnecessary. And these people that are trying to get this bill passed, if you will, deserve to have no footing in society. They don't need any ground to stand on. What they continue to push for is something that is against women completely. And it is something that is highly, highly unnecessary. And quite frankly, it doesn't need to happen in the first place. But these Christians really don't care because they are too busy focused for a reward in the end. And as a result of this, society is crumbling. It really is, because these individuals are so incompetent that it is not funny. But they really don't care. They don't really care what people have to say. They're going to try and get bills passed, bill after bill after bill after bill, just so they can hold women down, so they can keep women silent, basically. And it's something that needs to be brought to the attention of a lot of people because, again, like I have said many times before, this is going to cause a significant problem in this country. And a lot of women need to voice their opinion. A lot of women really need to stand up to these assholes and tell them, no, it's not okay for you to do this. And these people really think that these women who oppose the bill are not worthy of life. That is how ridiculous this is. You Christians out there need to pull your nose out of that religious book of yours and actually have 
passion for humanity, actually support women as far as their own personal health is concerned or as far as their own choices are concerned. You guys need to really open your minds and really look at how you're treating people because to be honest with you, you guys are not doing it now and it is a big problem. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And feel free to share this video with anyone who may be interested, whether it be on Facebook, Google+, Tumblr, Reddit, Yahoo, or wherever you guys hang out. You know, so till next time, The Quiet Atheist is out. And remember, if you can't be good, be good at it. Most of all, thank you for watching. And hopefully one day, religion would be completely out of politics. And maybe even one day, religion would be completely out of society. Because it is ruining everything. And I will talk to you guys later.